This video is about how to use dplyr to filter the rows in a table of data to only get the rows that we want to focus on. And we do this using the filter function. To get started, we need to go ahead and load the dplyr library and then load the surveys table that we've been working with so that we have a table to analyze. To do this, we're going to use the filter function. And the filter function allows us to take a data frame and combine it with one or more conditional statements that tell us which rows we want to keep and which rows we don't want to keep. So what does this look like? We start with the function name, filter, like usual parentheses because it's a function and then we want to provide it the arguments for the function. Like with other dplyr functions, the first argument is the name of the table that we want to filter. And then the following arguments are conditional statements and they take the form of the column that we want to filter on, the condition, like whether something is equal to something or greater than a number, and then the value uh, that we want that conditional to satisfy. So what does this look like? Let's say that we want to filter the table to just show a single species. We'll use the species ID DS. That stands for Dipodomys spectabilis, which is the largest kangaroo rat we have at the site. And as you know, I really like kangaroo rats. And so the conditional statement again, starts with the column. So that in our case is the species ID column. We want it to be equal to DS. So the condition is equals to, which is two equals signs. Remember we use two equals signs to indicate equality in R and most other programming languages because equals on its own is used for assignment. And then we want quotes and DS, capital D, capital S. And this is in quotes because it's a string. We're just saying we want this to be equal to the letters DS. And so it needs to be in quotes, unlike parts of the table, like the column name. And if we run this, we can see that we now have our surveys table, but here's our species ID column, and the only thing occurring in that species ID column is DS. We can use all of the other conditions that we learned about with vectors. So uh, we could use not equals to if we wanted to only get species that were not Dipodomys spectabilis. We could say filter parentheses, surveys, which is the name of the table we're filtering, species ID, the column that we're filtering on, and then not equal to, remember that not in R is the exclamation point, followed by the equal sign DS. And if we click the run button, we'll now see that we have lots of different species, but none of them is DS. We can also filter on multiple conditions at once. And in computing, we do this in two ways, and and or. And means that all of the conditions are true. So if we give it multiple conditions, they have to all be true for a row to stay in the result. To do this in dplyr, we can provide additional arguments using commas like we have uh, with select, for example. And so if we wanted to only get DS data uh, where the year was greater than 1995, we could say filter parentheses surveys species ID, again, we're still filtering on the species ID column to start, equals to DS, so that's the same as our first filter. 
And now we can provide another comma and say there's another condition that we want to be true. Year is greater than 1995. And if we run this, we'll see that we now have data uh, only for DS and only for years following 1995. Alternatively, we can also use the ampersand and just provide one argument. So we could write the same query, the same filter as filter, surveys, species ID is equal to DS. That's exactly the same. But then instead of a comma, we could write ampersand, which is short for and, space, year, greater than 1995. And this will work in exactly the same way. Uh, and this approach is mostly useful for building more complex conditionals uh, that we won't talk about today. And so most of the time in dplyr, if we're just doing and to combine multiple conditionals, uh, we would use commas. The other approach to combining conditions is using OR. And OR means that only one or more of the conditions must be true. So if at least one condition is true, then we'll keep that row of the data frame. And we do this using uh, the pipe character, which is uh, the two vertical lines uh, that are typically over the backslash key. You often get them with uh, shift backslash. And it will show up uh, as a, just a vertical line when we type it in R. And so let's say that we wanted to get all of the Dipodomies species, uh, because who wouldn't want all of the kangaroo rats in the data table? We could do this using OR, and we would do it like this. So we first want to filter the surveys table, and then we want to start like we have before. So one condition is that species ID is equal to DS. But now we type space and then the pipe symbol, and we can say OR species ID is equal to dm, that's Dipodomies mariumi, space, and then another pipe, and or species ID is equal to do. And so those are all of our kangaroo rat species. And so this will basically check to see, is the species ID equal to ds? And if it is, that rows automatically in. If it's not, it will then check to see if the species ID is equal to DM, and if it is, it will keep that row, and finally, it will check to see if the species ID is equal to DO, in which case, it will also keep that row. And so if we run this line, we'll see that I made a typo. It's species ID. We can see it says object species not found. That typically means I gave it the wrong name. I haven't defined or I haven't defined something yet. And so now if we run this line again, we'll see that we've got data that has a mix of DM, DS, and DO for the species ID. So that's how we filter data frames in dplyr. We use the filter function, which takes the table that we want to filter as the first argument, and then a set of conditional statements that combine a column name, the type of condition we want satisfied, like equals to or greater than, uh, and the value that we want that condition to meet. We can combine multiple conditions using either AND, which can be done with commas or with ampersand, and means that all conditions have to be met, or we can combine them using OR, which means 
at least one of the conditions need to be met, and we can do that using that vertical line, uh, also known as the pipe character. The other approach to combining conditions is the OR condition. The other approach to... So that's how we filter data frames using dplyr. We use the filter function, whose first argument is the table we want to filter, and then subsequent arguments are the conditions that we want 